Maybe should I get one of that pillow? Yeah, she's down there. My name's Dwayne. I work at Springwell Hub in Gateshead as part of an organisation called Kubrick. Um, I train junior chefs. I'm also a teacher, so I run various lessons in different things. But this is my main focus. And at the minute, we're trying to run a healthy eating programme alongside the junior chefs programme. What is fair share? Fair share is where you get reclaimed food. So. Every year, millions and millions of pounds worth of food is thrown away. And this isn't food that's been in the supermarket, this is food that was about to go to the supermarket, but they didn't need it, so it's surplus stock, so therefore it's just going to go in the bin. And we reclaim a portion of that every time we get a delivery. And it comes here. So the Junior Chef program is for young lads who are aged between. 14 and 16. Some of them are being kicked out of school. Some of them don't quite get on at school. Uh, so we've developed a program for young people that's going to direct them straight to work. But it's not just about that. It's about introducing new foods to young people so that they expand the sort of foods that they're into and they're not just constantly eating food that's bad for them. If that makes sense. What made you want to learn? When I was uh, about 13, 14, my mum had to go out to work because she was a single parent. And she used to leave me microwave dinners, and I just got really sick of microwave dinners. And then when I would go down to my dad's, because he lived in a city, there was all the kind of exotic products that you see in the supermarkets now, which back then you couldn't get out in the supermarket. You know, the Asian cuisine, things like this. And my dad used to cook really interesting stuff. And so that sort of inspired me then to learn to be a chef myself. So my recipes are based around using stuff that you've got in the house already without you having to go and spend a lot of money. The average family at four throws away 50 pounds of food a week. And that's quite a lot of food over a year, 50 pounds. So instead of throwing that away, what I do is I teach people to have a ready supply of certain things they can use. So in my kitchen I've always got basics like onions, garlic, noodles, rice, pasta, tinned tomatoes the things that you can bulk up your dinner with to make it interesting so that when I go shopping I've only got to go shopping for one item um, it's very rare that I'll come out of the supermarket with more than one thing and I'll have in mind what I want to cook and then I'll just get, get experimental from there so I'll minimise wastage by doing this uh, I'm lucky enough that I live next to supermarkets two of them so uh, I have the option to go shopping every day not everyone has that option so I'm able to minimise my food wastage so what are you cooking today? Today we're cooking a spatchcock chicken in my very own family recipe, um, chicken tikka. Tell us about the family recipe you're using. Uh, the family recipe was handed down from my dad. Um, he taught me this when I was about 11. And it's been handed down through his family as well. And there's a few tweaks that he picked up while he was travelling around Asia. So this is one that I've been perfecting for a long time now, more than 20 years I've been working on it. Hopefully if I ever have my own kids, then I'll be able to pass the recipe down to them as well. And their recipe will be even better than mine. We've got our own spice mix there. What I'm prepared of, yeah. Only the camera could smell it. Yeah, if only the camera could smell that. And that's a mixture of 10 different spices. It's what I call an all-in. So basically that was me getting my spice box out from the cupboard and just putting a bit of everything in there just to uh, break out the flavours. What we're going to do shortly, we're going to mix it with this cabbage, oil and onion and we're going to sweat that right down. And the idea is we're going to make a sauce, I'm going to blend that and then with that sauce we're going to put that onto the chicken and it's going to rest overnight. What I'm hoping is that not just the fair share market and cafe is going to expand but I'm hoping to expand to the second site. I'm hoping that the scheme of work that we use for the Junior Chef programme will become bigger um, and expand into other buildings and I'll be able to run this with more than just a team of five that I've got now.
just so happens that the five people that I've got now in the kitchen are really good at what they do. They're starting to get to that point now where they can operate without me having to really tell them what to do. So I can set them away, I'll say this is what you're cooking today, this is the ingredients. And then they'll just go and get on with it. And I'll stand and supervise to make sure it's okay. And then I'll check up on it at the end. So the last two weeks of this academic year, when the market's coming and everyone's ready, my lads have had the food there on the counter, ready for people to eat. And the customers are really happy with it. Really, really happy with it. We've got our spatchcock chicken ready. I cut it down the middle and I put some of that spice on it that I was preparing earlier than yesterday. Now I'm going to add the curry sauce to it. That's what it looks like after it's been cooked down the onion, the cabbage and the tomato with the spice and the oil and then I blended it afterward. What I'm hoping is that all those flavours are going to infuse into the chicken overnight and then I'm going to put it in the fridge with a cover over it and tomorrow join the fair share market we're going to be cooking that with onion bhajis, pakoras, some rice, some chutney, our very own naan breads with cheese inside and some mint raita. So uh, keep your eye out on Cumbric TV for further cookery videos. Thanks very much for joining us today, it's been a pleasure.